Hello, welcome to my channel. It occurred to me that you might be interested in some of the things that I do with my art um, because you can only paint so many canvases without getting a little bored. And um, so I use my art in other ways. And here's one of them. I painted this Christmas stocking and I'm going to put it up for sale on eBay and 50% will go to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. I like to help that group. And then quite a chunk will probably go on shipping because shipping so expensive. Anything left over will go on paints and brushes as it always does for me. Unless it gets bid really high and I might buy a new car. I'm always hoping for things like that. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. You don't need any expensive fabric to make this Christmas stocking. I use this six by nine canvas drop cloth, which I paid about $11 for, I believe. Um, I got it at Walmart. You can get them at Home Depot too. They might be cheaper there, I don't know. But it's a canvas. Uh, it's quite a soft canvas, um, but it's strong enough uh, to do the job. I cut out four uh, Christmas stockings and had enough left over that I can think of at least one other project that I'll do and I'll show you in another video. Um, enough about that. I'll, talk, I'll tell you about that later. The first thing I did was to cut out my Christmas stocking, which is about 24 inches tall and at the widest part about 9 inches. And you can make this any size you like. Um, I just happen to have a Christmas stocking and I use that as a pattern. And um, the next thing I did was paint it with gesso, uh, which is an acrylic paint and it's um, Artists use it to prep their canvases and it's very good. It gives you a nice surface to paint on. It's um, not glossy or anything. It's matte. It fills in the fibers a little bit, gives you a good surface. I buy it in a bucket because I use so much of it, but you can get it in a tube, I think, or at least a small um, pot. I tried a few designs, including this one, Santa and Mrs. Santa. And I liked the um, snowman family best. So that's the first one. I don't know if I'm going to paint the others. Um, I did put them on stockings. I haven't completed them though. So they're up in the air. I'll see how this one goes. If it's um, popular and does well on eBay, Carol Ann's art, I will complete the others as well. So after I had transferred the image onto the stocking, I used markers to outline the image. And I advise you, if you do this, to use waterproof markers, because when you put a final coating on, I used Mod Podge for my coating. Um, it needs to be a waterproof marker, uh, otherwise it will just run everywhere. Having finished the marker, I sewed the stocking and I put in a satin lining. I didn't take a picture of that part. I'm sorry I don't have that, but the lining is basically the same size and shape as the stocking. And then I attached it only at the top. So it hangs loose inside there. You could attach it to the base as well if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to have to leave that to you because I didn't do that. I turned the uh, lining to the outside to form a cuff at the top and then I covered it with masking tape so that I wouldn't get any paint on it and then I used acrylic paint to paint in the night sky with the um, snowfall and Mr. Snowman and his wife and little kid. I outlined the whole thing with a marker and um, I used basic colours on this, red and green, and I thought it might work just like that and I left it for a few hours thinking I had finished the project. And then I came back to look at it with a fresh eye and realised it wasn't done. Uh, it was looking very flat and nasty and I needed to put some dimension in there. And so I got out some more paints. I basically used um, a blue for my shadows 
and Naples yellow with some white added for moonlight. Now I know this might seem a bit odd because we've got snow falling from obviously clouds. Should be a cloudy sky, you're just going to have to believe me on this, but there was a break in the clouds, the moon was shining and it gave me moon shadows and moonlight reflection on the snowman. I swear that's the truth. So here's the finished stocking, which as I said would be available for sale, supporting St. Jude's. 50% will support St. Jude and the rest will go to um, free shipping and brushes and paints, if there's any left. And um, I've signed it, I've dated it 2022 and I put a little line under there so that this stocking, which will last about two or three hundred years with that acrylic paint on there um, and your progeny might decide to sell it and it could go for millions. Look what happened to Vincent. Um, he didn't get anything for his work in his lifetime and now you can't buy a painting for under, what, 10 million. So um, this could easily do that in two or three hundred years. I'm betting on it. And so that line will be an authenticator. You have to reproduce that if you're going to forge this stocking. Practice. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's very short video uh, showing you what you can do with your art. I've got another project from this same drop cloth that I'm going to show you next week or maybe sooner, I don't know, it depends when I get around to it. And if you did enjoy the video, please like, share and subscribe. That helps my channel grow and I'd really appreciate that. And if you've already done that, thank you so much. I very much appreciate uh, your subscription. And um, so I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.